Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Unity of Command 2 Blitzkrieg in episode number 17 of our Let's Play series, taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel uh, from a couple of days back. You can find a link in the description to my channel. Uh, you can also find a link to my Discord, where I'm trying to start putting together sort of a regular schedule for these live streams. If you're interested in joining, I tend to stream at about 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. Somewhere between there um, is when the streams start, Central Standard Time. Uh, and then, you know, the days of the week are a little bit in flux, but I'll try to keep a schedule on the Discord channel. With that being said, that's enough of my sort of shtick and trying to promote the channels. Um, Let's go ahead and just jump right back into this thing. We're about to fight the Battle of Full Rote West. This is the battle for Paris, the drive on Paris, the drive on the channel ports, the attempt of the Germans to sort of deal a knockout blow to the French uh, in the one of the last battles in the game in France. So without further ado, let's jump right back into the live stream, and I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you at the end. We're going to get going <laughs> uh, with Fall Rote West. It is June 5th, 1940. With a pocket near Dunkirk dealt with, the Wehrmacht pivots south toward Paris and the French Atlantic ports, which are crucially needed for Germany's U-boat operations. The French army, while severely weakened and lacking reserves, is by no means a beaten force. Traumator, thank you for the follow. 12 turns, Army Group B and Panzer Group Kleist. Not getting wasted, literally am on my second beer tonight, Funker. Rip Miller Park? No. Vensked, I don't care what the name on the front of the, the stadium is. It's Miller Park forever. Okay. American Family Field? No. It's Miller Park, okay? Uh, you would do better to dunk a piece of bread in a glass of water. Well, here's the thing, uh, XZ. Beer has food value. You're right. It is a glass of wheat, but food has no beer value. All right. So, OKW Dispatch, you have eliminated the best troops the Brits and French had to offer. With no allied reserves left to react to our attacks, France teeters on the brink of total collapse. You must not allow them time to recover. Push south towards Paris and west along the Channel Coast. The loss of their capital and the severing of our connection to Brit or of their connection to Britain must surely finish off the French. The following units have been reconstituted by OKW after being destroyed in battle. The 32, 32nd Infantry Division, 46th Infantry Division. First, Geb. Uh, I'm assuming those are mountain troops. The, 80, the 290th ID, 87th ID, and 11th Schutzen Brigade. All right. That's not County Stadium. That was That's different, Elka. County Stadium was a different building. Miller Park's the same building. <laughs> All right, so this is a, a, a narrower map. Um, this is a big map. Wow, sure goes west. Jeez, this is gonna be a Blitzkrieg map, I assume. A narrow front or a narrow front line with wide open gaps in huge tracts of land. All right, so Paris is down here. Presumably, let's hope they declare it an open city and we can just rush through. Keeping the headquarters forward so we can rebuild the bridge is going to be absolutely vital. Thank God we have Panzer Group Kleist because a lot of these bridges are actually major bridges which you cannot attack across. So we'll need pontoon bridges to be built ad hoc so we can flank before we, we can move. We only get one air unit to attack with. I'm assuming this enemy line is brittle. Like, once we break through it, it's going to be sprinting. We've got 10 prestige, so not a lot to build with. But we do, I'm assuming, have some some free steps. Really? P Nothing in his group of B? What about Panzer Group Kleist? We do have 19 armored steps. Jesus. All right, these guys are elite, but they're going to get... They're going to get a reinforcement. They're still elite with three. I'll take them as veterans, though. Give me a giant veteran unit. I'm fine with that. Um, what about these guys over here? These are veterans. They'll still be veterans, just slightly better veterans. They can't take... Or they can take reinforcements as well. These veterans are almost elite. 
Throw some reinforcements in there. The reconstituted units tend to suck, too, because I think they start at 100 experience, which is basically non-existent. All right, so Panzer Group Kleist has no other units that we can deploy. We can buy some German armor. Can we afford a mechanized reinforcement? We can. We can afford one mechanized step. That's not going to do anything for that unit. All right. So this is, might actually be challenging because I don't think I've got enough strength in my units. I think we took too many casualties in the last turn. But we'll see. All right, that's going to do it. We'll leave the uh, trucks undeployed for the moment. We don't need them. Let's not bicker about who killed who. Okay, so no real artillery in those units on the front, so that's going to be fun. Um, what do I want to attack first? Can't do a set piece, can I? These guys are in forts, basically. I need to break out. Probably need to drive toward Rouen and Paris. Most of my armor's armor's on the northern part of the map. I guess first things first is I gotta knock out this unit. This is a, a good enemy unit, French colonial veteran unit, in a trench. I need space to get my armor into action. Actually, no. These guys are more vulnerable here. The faint. them back. Swing my armor forward. Zero to four and an overrun. So I get to attack twice. Uh, meanwhile, all these objectives, Cherbourg, Angelime, Brest, Nance, all need to be taken by turn 12. Paris and Le Havre by turn 6. So that western drive does make sense. Hmm. The armor can't get across there this turn, though. Okay. I guess we'll move these mechanized troops. Actually, first we'll have the infantry. They'll breach. God, if, the, if those mechanized troops were better... God damn, there's French armor out that way. Thought they would have been a little bit weaker as we broke through the front line. The hollow auto shell. Like a pastry. Alright, I don't want to attack and take those casualties. Fuck. Pull them back. Well, how the hell am I going to break through here? I need goddamn artillery. That's what I need. Right, let's get these troops onto that road, at least. Where is their damn soft line? The French are without reserves. Punches through the front line. There's chars in reserve. Damn right there are. Well, this is probably the only map where we're going to have water. I'll use that naval bombardment next turn. Could drop some Fallschirmjägers in the rear. I'm curious, are there any enemy bases that might be unoccupied? Ha! Ah, let's do it. Falsham Jaegers. 
forwards. Oh, it won't let me. Why can't I deploy him that far in the rear? Whatever. They're on the rail line. March them to Le Havre next turn. Maybe it'll, like, freak the AI out and they'll, like, pull troops back. No air superiority? Sure, we got air superiority, I'm sure. It's post-Dunkirk. Alright, anyway, um... I don't want to destroy bridges I'm going to need. So... I wonder if La Harve is a supply source. That might have been a big mistake by dropping those guys back there. Alright, um... Two breached. I'll take those casualties on that infantry unit. Whoa! Just got that division wiped out. But we're through! And again! Give me the overrun! Let me attack again! Ha! Ah. Charge, boys! Through the gap! All right, well, we got... Oh, my God. Look at all these troops in the rear. This is a... This is... These guys are... We just need to push through. Look at all of this. Oh, my God. They must, like, have nothing anywhere else. Or this game is just blatantly lying to us. Also, we get a lot of reinforcements. Look at this. There's no hole. We pushed two hexes deep, and there's still... There's three, four hexes deep. I mean, I'd say they're going to hold. Look at this. I can't attack any of these units with any chance of success. Maybe the enemy will start retreating after this turn. Maybe that's what's going to happen, is they'll just be like, nope, we're going to vacate the front lines and run away. I suppose that's possible. Happens in other scenarios. Why not this one? All right, what's the supply situation look like? Everybody's in supply? Good. All right. End turn. Well, they drove me back immediately with a char counterattack. They pulled some troops off the front line, presumably to respond to my paratroopers. And otherwise, it didn't seem like they moved a whole lot. Nahav! We took the objective. Give me that prestige. Dieppe was a disaster. What about Dieppe? Sim Caesar, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate the support, dude. Three months now. Thank you very much. I 
hit those guys on the rail line. Use that armor there. Push through here. Give me an overrun. Yes! Got the overrun. Extend the breach. Swing over into the rear, get two there in the breach, drive them back. Okay, we have made a gigantic hole in the enemy line. Nova Novakatsi, thank you very much for the follow. Sauce2321, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciated. Why can no one move into that hex? All right, so we surrounded these guys. Advance! I'm advancing relatively weak units, probably further than I should. But the goal is to drive the enemy back here and force them to withdraw and sort of panic. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, what is, is that? Rome Ovo 1D? I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but thank you for the sub as well, sir. Alright, so we've broken through. Sort of. Let's go ahead and drop some tack air. God damn it! It did nothing! The attacker, it does nothing! British Armored Division in Rouen. Yeah, weak reserves. God damn it, game, don't lie to me! Alright. My naval bombardment can't hit anything that I can see anyway. But hey, we got Laharve <laughs> with our paratroopers. That'll be out of supply next turn. So I really got to break through to them in the next two turns or so to, to get them some supply on that rail line. Meanwhile, in the south... These Frenchmen are too heavily dug in for me to do jack shit against, huh? All right. A little faint... All right. You did nothing! All right, didn't we get reinforcements this turn? Are there any, any of them any good? Why can't I deploy any of them here? There's not, there's units on those hexes? Is that it? Because I pushed units into the, fuck. Can they all only deploy on those three or four hexes? God damn it. Seriously? That's horseshit. No, the British did have one... They had a couple of divisions that were actually not at Dunkirk that kept fighting on the main French line. Little known fact. There's no bridges to repair. What bridge needs to be repaired anyway? These are these are intact.
Alright, I pushed these guys across the river mainly to hope that the AI will be triggered into withdrawing due to thinking that we're behind them, maybe? I don't know. This doesn't look great. But I don't want to do more suicidal attacks, so... Alright, let's end the turn. No, it wasn't just the Calais garrison. They actually had a handful of divis- Oh, well, they just got killed real quick. They had a- Oh, they died real quick, too. That was one of our uh, armored spearhead units there. Oh, and there goes our mechanized units. Fucking A! God damn it! Blowing the bridges in Paris already, huh? Deutschland just chilling, waiting for orders. I can't bombard anything if they're not on the coast. <sighs> Tack air, save me now. British armored unit there is pretty much dead. Why didn't I get an overrun there? Come on. Drive south. Well, we're, like, at the border of Paris. That was probably not the best use of my troops, but... Casualties, smashalties. Can I deploy these guys yet? Hey, I've got some artillery with this, bo uh, this one. What about the other ones? Where did that French armor go? Are they over here? That mechanized unit's gonna get whomped on, by the way. Very technical term, I know. Whomped. Um, use one of my Opal Blitzes to give another depot point here so my armored spearhead stays in supply. I've almost cut this whole front line out of out of supply. I need more air, but the the JU88 the tack air that it provides isn't actually terribly strong. Got more units that I can deploy. Whatever, casualties may not matter to me anymore. comes the butcher. Just throw them at the wall and keep going. They'll be fine. Alright, so I'm curious to see how the AI is going to respond. This unit will get destroyed. 
They may try and sweep in and cut this lead unit off on its drive to Paris. We'll see. Interesting that the game gives you till turn six to take Paris for like a ma quote unquote major victory. So it obviously assumes it's going to take you a little while to break through this front. Okay, well let's move forward another turn. We get a bunch more reinforcements in the next turn. We're already a third of the way through. So it's really, I'm assuming once we destroy these units, it kind of becomes more of a driving simulator. Oh, look, more chars. There goes the mechanized boys. Another ID gone. They didn't destroy any of those bridges by Paris? Interesting. Or did they? Well, I can't move on them. Get the kill and the overrun. No overrun there? Still no overrun. Jeez. Alright, zero to two. Just finish the fuckers off already. Okay, zero to three and an overrun. So then I can advance here, take that enemy depot, suppress these guys, keep up the pressure. So there's a lot of, like, prisoners to be out this way. Um, I get three uses of the Deutschland, and I can't even use it. Of course, maybe I shouldn't have spent the prestige on the Deutschland in the first place when only one map was going to have any water. That sounds like a pretty stupid thing on my part. So we've created a pocket of lovely French troops here near the French line. The problem is I don't want to spend three turns reducing a pocket when I've got to race halfway across the map. To win this scenario. Really have no desire to babysit cut off French troops. We have more troops, right? I mean, I guess that's what some of these IDs can be used for. We do have a shit ton of them. Alright, get a zero to two. 
drive them back, pursue with that infantry, finish those guys off. So the left flank is totally open. I'm assuming we'll get tripped up, they'll blow the bridge at Rouen. Looks like we get some... By the way, what's our supply situation? I'm throwing these guys all down on roads. Everybody's still in supply. That's good. Alright, more units almost ready, but our hexes aren't available for them yet. I can... No, oh, I can't make them available yet. No, you can't merge IDs. No merging allowed. All right, let's move. Whoops. Huh. Well, they can't move very far. Panzergruppe Kleist. Got to keep moving forward to keep it in, in touch with the armor. These guys are going to be out of supply pretty much starving in the next turn. But I think we'll link up with them at least. We need to clear this railway though. So. Ideally I should use these guys to push forward and get across this major bridge before they can blow it. Are there troops there? Yes. They will die versus them. So that's... Uh, paratroopers, do your job! All right, so this bridge can't be blown, but they'll probably get counterattacked and maybe killed. Hopefully not. They could also move into the rear and take the Harve, but we'll see. We need that bridge. Okay, let's move forward to the next turn. Turn number five, on the way. Do we take Paris yet? No. So I guess we'll fail taking Paris in time because we have to take it by turn six. Man... I just want to put this out there, guys. If the French had... If the French had as aggressive armored spearheads as they do in this game, huh, the war would have been very different. All right, actually, we can take Paris. So we just took Paris in time, and we crossed the river because they let Paris be an open city. So that's nice. Um... Okay, so actually those pair, that worked out really well for our paratroopers, except that they might starve next turn. So I really gotta clear this. What is this? 51st British ID? Bastards. All right, I gotta, I gotta bomb them. All right, so, I'm here. Gotta clear them. I didn't wanna take those armored casualties, but I, I gotta do it. We have to get him off that roadway. And we did. Dieppe is ours. Alright, so that... We'll get supply up front here. Do I have an opal I can... Nope. They're still gonna... Well, no, they won't starve if I pull them back. Huh. By the way, that was the only bridge they didn't blow along this roadway, so this way. So it looks like it was a good decision to advance them. Because that bridge on that left flank is, is still intact. I'm surprised with all these disorganized French units that there's no, like, objective in this particular fight to try and take prisoners.
So we went into the enemy rear, took out an enemy depot, and isolated these chars. Drove them back. I don't have any units to hold Paris, though. Actually, no, I can't get them there. Oh, wait, these guys. All right. They're going to die. Or maybe they won't. I don't know if the enemy can attack them. In any event, this whole right flank should be out of supply for the French now. Mm. Can any of our HQs rebuild some of these bridges? Okay. So repair, re repair those two bridges. I'm going to have some reinforcements coming in this turn, I believe, on that rail line. I will. So let's swing these guys east to protect our flank as we start to advance down the line. Let's go ahead and make sure we can deploy these guys. We can. We've got seven turns left. We've got to take Sen and Orléans. Where's Sen? Orléans down here. Where's Sen? Brest, Sharpburg, Orleans, where's the other? Oh, down here, okay. So, I'm assuming the fact that we've cut off the bulk of their troops out here will really work in, in our favor here. We just have to strengthen that line, make sure they can't break out. keep pressing on the left side of the map where I'm guessing there will be fewer troops. Deploy the 96. Ooh, that's a nice big one. Alright, so these guys should all be out of supply this turn, I would think. That armored unit's not going to do any counterattacking in its current condition. Alright, everybody, this seems like a good stopping point as any. Again, when you take them from live streams like I've been doing, that's a little bit difficult to find the right spot to just pause things, but this seems like a good spot to stop. So we'll go ahead and wrap this episode up. Hope you guys did enjoy. We did take Paris. It was a little bit anticlimactic, uh, but I guess the game kind of represented the city being an open city. The French didn't act actively resist in the city. They didn't destroy the bridges in the city. So that, that was nice, I guess. We'll see if we can finish off this battle. And, uh, and, and hopefully get very close to finishing off France in the next episode. Until the next episode, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.